Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today marks the one year anniversary of me putting out my very first Gwent video. So one year ago today, I downloaded Gwent and I've been addicted ever since. Um, and a lot of you guys have been around since day one and I greatly appreciate that. Um, I just wanted to give a little bit of a like thank you and kind of an update on where I'm at with the with Gwent as of right now um, I know a lot of people have been kind of down on Gwent mostly because of the content that hasn't been coming through one thing that I would say is really there's no other game out there like Gwent um, a lot of the card games that are out there are basically rip-offs of either you know Hearthstone or you know Magic the Gathering or whatever. Gwent is the only game where there's like that I know of that it doesn't have mana and it just it just plays so different so I think it's kind of hard to balance the game and create new content for the game because it's such an original game. I I won't lie though I I feel like you know the content has been has been lacking but with you know the little bit of cards that are coming out at the end of the month then Thronebreaker which is going to be cards and content the Halloween um, event Christmas event more new cards there's there's a lot of good things coming our way so I think you know you got to kind of take it for what it is it's just I, I just look at it as the game is so original and it's got to be just a nightmare for them to put new content out so you know I, I just feel you got to be patient everybody in the Gwent community has been wonderful to me CDPR has been wonderful to me um, so you know I I'm, I'm grateful for this game and I can't wait for the new stuff to come out, and I feel that Gwent is has nowhere to go but up. Um, you know, also too, you know, because of this game, I also got invited to be in on Gwent City, which is really cool. I've met you know a lot of great guys, Manti and Tragic and HG3 and Gwent to Town, and you know everybody's just been really great, and they are way better players than me, so I've definitely learned a lot from them. So. Shout out to those guys for, you know, keeping keeping a scrub like me around. <laughs> but, uh, you know, today I just wanted to say mostly, you know, have faith in CDPR and the Gwent game. Thank you for sticking around for one year of, you know, me playing some children's card game. <laughs> and, uh... Today I just wanted to replay my very first video. I'm going to turn the sound off for the original video. If you want to watch it, it's it's down, you know, a ways on there. But um, I'm just going to commentate on what's going on while, you know, just looking at how far the game has come. And, uh, you know, just, you know, thank you and uh, get ready for more content. Also, too, um, I do feel like I'm going to diversify the channel a little bit. Um, I have never played Magic the Gathering, and Magic the Gathering Arena is coming out here pretty soon, so if you've played Magic, show me how to play Magic, because I've never played it. Um, I'm excited to learn how to play it, but um, we're going to add that to the channel here a couple days a week. And, um, you know, of course when Thronebreaker comes out, we'll... Uh, We'll dive into that full fully and uh, try to get all the premiums and everything else. So, um, without further ado, here's my very first video. The quality isn't very good, um, as people let me know throughout the video um, stages of my YouTube content career. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to put this out here so that you guys can see how far the game has come. But like always, thank you and here's the video alright so here we go in all our 480p glory <laughs> um, 
as you can see I'm only rank 7 here the background looks a lot different I don't have 41 K scraps <laughs> and uh, this was actually um, Mogwai one of Mogwai's first decks that he put together so I was playing this um, it's it's funny to go back you, you see the values of the cards are different their abilities are gonna be different um, but yeah it uh, everything was just <laughs> it and this was only casual there was no ranked when this first came out so we go through our mulligan the berserkers did a completely different ability <laughs> our opponent actually forfeited um there was no tutorial you just kind of built your deck and and played it but uh yeah we were close to a keg <laughs> Yeah, you can see Gremist is different. And Lurith was different. Full test did a completely different ability. They were kind of out of hand back in the day, too. You see Old Geared. Donar was a spy. So was Berna. <laughs> Berna was awesome, man, back in the day. When she she would draw four cards and then you uh, discarded the rest. Yeah, you had two spies when you were with Skellige. They were the first Nilf guard. <laughs> and Savage Bear worked a lot different than what it did. <laughs> it, it, the game was only out for you know like a couple months so a lot of people were just trying it out so there's a lot of cards that just didn't do a whole lot a lot of a lot of misplays here i i played the game for like two days before this just to get some cards and stuff yeah but the, the berserkers were pretty good back in the day We played Old Gear. I loved Old, Old Gear. Was the first card I wanted to craft because I just thought he was so cool. He uh, he's just sitting there holding his hand, you know, in the in his in his lap. These were just vanilla. They didn't do anything. The Redanian elites. They were just so much different. So I ended up playing Donar here. I was I was explaining to people like it's it's so weird like the spy icon even disappeared once you played it. There's no eyeball above it. But the first time I played Gwent, I played against almost this exact same deck and this guy kept playing these spies and I'm like why is he giving me cards? And I, I ended up... Igni was the first um, gold card that I got. And I actually started a Smurf account on my PlayStation. And that was the third pack that I opened. I got Igni out of it, which was kind of funny. But... Uh, I forget even what Grim... Grimus did what... Um, what Jenga did now, he kind of like damaged two of your own guys or whatever. We had some carryover. <laughs> Gwent's always had carryover. We had some good cards here too, which was cool. And then, yeah, um, Skellige just had their own passive ability where every card gained plus one. There was no veteran or anything like that. It just went end of the round. Everything gets bigger. Yeah, weather immune units. It's 
so we played our Axeman. Now Axeman gained strength no matter what got hit. So they were pretty broken on your side or their side. I want to say the Raiders were just vanilla. Yeah, Croc and Crate, he spawned two Crate Warriors. His ability was different. Full test was cheese. He used to just copy um, adrenaline rushed units. He'd make one big adrenaline rushed unit and then he would copy it and carry it over to the next round and beat you. That was kind of his his deal. So he would carry over like a 40 40 or something and you just either had Igni or you lost. But you see the Axeman gaining, gaining strength. The Redanian. Knights didn't have an ability either. They were just vanilla cards, placeholders. Reinforcements drew everything out. We played the bear, and we're trying to set up a pretty sweet Igni here with Grimmest. <laughs> I forget what he plays here. But you see there's so much, you know, there's nothing really that got anything, you know, a lot of these things were just vanilla cards like it was just like Viking war like you played a high card I played a high card so I play Olgar here and he hit um, he can hit three cards not two like he did before So we're getting ready to set up a pretty big Igni. I think he was going for his cheese move right here. And then I just, I was like, it's not going to get any better than this. <laughs> so we just dropped the Igni. One, that's one thing that hasn't changed with Gwent, man. Igni is Igni. When it goes off, it's, it's still OP. <laughs> And then here comes the conceit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's the video for today, guys. I just wanted to show you how far the game has come. And, you know, you could, from my last video to this video, you can see when a good moment happens, it still makes me happy. So, I, uh, I just, I love the game. I think it's great. Everything, like, I, I leveled up. I ended up getting two packs here. We can watch old school pack openings here. Yeah, before I started recording them, you couldn't even um, you couldn't even see what cards you had in your kegs. Like you had to just guess if you had that legendary or you had that third copy. You couldn't tab out or anything. It was really hard. Yeah, see the Bryhead Brigade had no ability to convert any gold unit to silver. The breedable units, that was Cancer back in the day. He's still pretty much the same. Strength has changed. Blue Mountain Commando strength changed. One more pack. But, yeah, Reaver Scouts used to be three. Manticore Venom is what Abaya does now, the Araka Venom. Dwarven Mercenaries were different, too. Fireball Trap was its own card. Skirmishers were way different. But, uh... 
that's the video for today, guys. Like always, thank you for watching. Thank you for being around for one year. And uh, here's to another year, Gwent. I'll see you next time.